Hi, I'm Andrew Armstrong. Welcome to the back office. Today I'm going to be making a bacon sandwich the way I like it made. I'm going to be making a bacon sandwich with fried toast. So let's just get started right away. To save time, I already put toast in the toaster. I'll show you what that looks like. I think you've got toasters at home. So that toast is going to be done in just a moment. In the meantime, I'm just getting ready the bacon straight from the fridge. Fantastic. Going to put the uh, heat on. Let's get it nice and hot. We're going to set that all the way to nine. Put that on there. While the toast is getting being ready, I will just get out some floral light. That's all I have. No, nope, no butter in the fridge. Okay, let's take that away over here. What my plan is just to explain. My plan is to butter the toast, was that in the uh, frying pan for a while, and when that's looking delicious, then I shall uh, pop in the bacon. Let's see if I can do this one-handed. Right, first problem, how do you get butter out with one hand? Right, okay. Hmm. This is not going to work. Tell you what, jump cut. And they're fully buttered now. I'm just going to pop them in the pan. Mm. Sizzly. Look at it, yeah. looking quite yummy. I'm just going to do it on one side. It's actually starting to stick now, so um, ooh, I think that's good enough. Nice and melted, very hot. Let's get some rashes in there. This is surprisingly difficult uh, to do with one hand. Now I don't know how you like your bacon, but my preference is to have it quite crisp. And I've found over the years that certain um, brands are better at uh, crisping than others. So your mileage may vary. Look at that. Brilliant. I think this is uh, about ready. Now you're probably wondering why am I bothering to make such a video. And the reason is, and you're going to find it hard to believe, that some people don't know how to make a proper bacon sandwich. So this is my opportunity to educate them. Right, so what else do we need? Every good bacon sandwich needs ketchup. There isn't really any particular temperature you should have your ketchup. I like ketchup generally a little bit cooler so I keep it in the fridge. I know some of you don't like that, that's fine. Let's pop 
the lid on. And we'll take this into the uh, back office to consume it. We're back from the kitchen now. The bacon sandwich is ready. As you can see, I have cut it diagonally, and this is the only correct way to cut uh, any sandwich as far as I'm concerned, apart from possibly a cheese and pickle butty, in that, and you'll be allowed to cut it that way. Okay, so diagonally on a bacon sandwich. As you can see, the bacon has been properly severed in each slice. Um, this is to minimise the when you take one bite and you pull out a whole sheet of bacon, uh, although that's probably still likely. There's tomato ketchup in there, lots of melty, melty buttery goodness. How I got. You have to take the biggest bite you can take, by the way, that's the rules. Mmm. Oh! We have bacon loss. Hang on. Mmm. This is really good. Now, I know that we didn't have proper butter, we had to use a um, light margarine. Mm. But frankly, it's still amazing. The bacon's not too salty, it doesn't have any of that white um, foamy snuff that comes out of it when it fries. No oil is used, so it's quite healthy. Toast is perfect. So in conclusion, make your bacon sandwiches this way and you won't be disappointed. Thanks for watching.